This is the identifier mapping vignette from RSI3. Here we're going to demonstrate three ID mapping challenges that you might come across in Cytoscape. The first step in the vignette is to install RSI3 if you haven't already, and then to ping Cytoscape to make sure it's installed and running. Now we're going to open up a sample session file with this handy function. And here we're going to perform our first ID mapping between ensemble yeast identifiers, which look like this, over to entree gene identifiers. And those are the parameters in our map table column function. Run that function, scroll to the right, and you'll find a new column of entree gene identifiers. For the next challenge, we're going to map from protein ID types to gene ID types, and we'll you do this on an example network from the string database. To do this, we'll need to install the string app in Sidescape 3, 7, and above. You can do that by running this function. And then we're going to run this command to direct the string app to query the string database for a breast cancer network and bring it into Cytoscape. The string network will come with uniprot protein identifiers. Let's say we want ensemble identifiers. We can do that using the same function, map table column, providing the source type and target type. Scroll to the right, and you'll see a new column of ensemble gene identifiers associated with those uniprot protein identifiers. In the last example, we're going to find uh, from Wiki Pathways an example of a column that contains a mix of ID types. Again, we'll install the Wiki Pathways app for Cytoscape. And then we'll query Wiki Pathways to import a pathway that has mixed ID types. This apoptosis pathway contains ensemble and entree gene IDs in the same column. If you run across that, here's how you can fix it. First thing to do is to map the entree gene IDs to ensemble using the same function that we were using before, map table column. You scroll to the right, that'll give us a set of ensemble identifiers associated with our original entree gene ones. Now we want to merge those into a single column so that we can use it for um, further data mapping or visual styles. And we can do that with this next chunk of code, a bit of R subsetting, and then loading our new ensemble identifiers, overriding the rows that previously had entree gene identifiers. Now we have a column containing only ensemble IDs.